today the topic of discussion is sql group by and having so we'll start with sql group by and having and we'll make each and every point very clear for you let's start okay so sql group by if you want wanted to know the average height of all student this means you see this this figure here our teacher is you know uh, taking a height of student but not one he teacher is taking the height of all the student uh, you could write a query that look like this select average height from student and what is this average and aggregate function and we have a separate video for aggregate function function i request you to kindly watch this aggregate video aggregate function video so you will understand so what actually happening over here is that selecting the average height from what students so students is a table where height is a column and we have applied average function on that so finally you will get average height suppose a student table has 60 students so you you, you will get an average height of those 60 students fine okay let's move further okay but what if you wanted to know the average height of students based on their year in the school suppose now you want average height of class 5 class 6 class 7 class 8 9 and 10 what you do with what with what you know right now you would have to write a number of different sql statement to accomplish this so whatever you know right now you will do like that only you will do like this select average height from student where year in school 10th 11th and 12th because you don't know apart from this you don't know any query so till now you know this query only so you will write this query only but what and so on whatever you do like this to simplify the problem like this we just we, with just one statement so with just one statement you can you know apart from writing this three query or five query or suppose there are there are uh, class 1 to class 12 there are 12 section so you need you need to write 12 of this query but what if by using one query you can do this to simplify the problem like this we just we with just one statement you use group by and having clause so see the beauty of group by and having clause without group by and having clause for 12 different classes I was using different 12 commands but with just group by we'll use only one command one query move further you use the group by clause to divide the rows we use group by clause to divide the rows in the table into smaller group so what we'll do we'll simply divide the rows in smaller groups Sim for example if I talk about registrar office every school has a registrar office every college has a registrar office so what is registrar office having the registrar office is having the data of all the students data of all the students so we'll group by those students according to their classes fine according to their classes fine okay you can then use the group by function to return then you use group by function to return the summary information of each group so finally you will uh, uh, return the summary information of every group so hope you understand what i'm trying to tell you let's see okay what what is the query that select department id average salary from employees group by department id and order by department id this is very interesting this is very interesting query so let me solve this query for you there is a table called employees and employees we have two columns suppose department id and average uh, uh, salary there are two columns department id and salary there are more than one department there are actually more than one department and in in every department there are variations in salary but what my job is to find the average salary of all the department suppose i have department id 1 i have department id 2 i have department id 3 i have department id 4 and 5 where department id has 20 employees these has 20 employees these has 30 employees department ID 50 employees and these have uh, suppose 60 employees and all are getting different salaries all are getting different salaries now my job is to get the average salary of every department now my job is to get the average salary of every department so what i'll do i'll i'll use group by so what am i doing is that select i'm selecting department id i'm selecting average salary from depart from employees that is fine but i'm grouping it according to department id so what it will do it will group all the employees of department one and after grouping what it will do it will find the average salary find 
after grouping it will find the average salary let's see i have a department uh, uh, so the answer we are getting is that department id 10 has average salary 44400 department id 20 has an average salary this 50 as this and whatever 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 fine let's move further now in select statement shown the rows are being grouped by department id fine so rows are grouped by department id this is what we actually uh, i have already told you so if i told you if i told i have already told you this he the rows are getting grouped according to department id the average function is then applied on you know first we have grouped we have collected all the employee id of department one and we have collected all the department id of department two we have collected all the uh, uh, of department three fine and then we applied average salary so this is what we are actually doing fine okay 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 and then this is very important to note group function group function requires that that any column listed in select statement clause that is not a part of group function must be list in group by clause example what is wrong in this query what is wrong wrong in this query we are we have included which column job id last name and salary but on salary i am using a group function but on salary i am using a group function which table from employee table then in group by i must have job id as well as last name are you getting what i am trying to tell you it's very important group by function require that any column listed in select clause that is not a part of group function since salary was also a column which we are selecting but it is a part of group function so all those which are not part of group function must be listed in group by clause so this group by clause must have all those columns fine since it does not have last name since it, since group by does not have last name this is why it's producing an error fine okay let's move further now suppose now see this is what we told you right now about group by now we'll start with having why we use having let's start suppose we want to find the maximum salary in each department now my job is to find first i was finding average salary now my job is to find maximum salary of every department but only for those departments which have more than one employee it might be possible that i'm having employee id uh, i'm having department id one two three four five department id has 20 employees department id 2 has 10 employees department id 3 has only one employee 4 has 5 employees and 5 has 15 employees i want the these 20 employees must be getting a different salary suppose the highest salary of this uh, de department is 20k and this is suppose 30k and there is only one employee he is getting suppose 10k and there are five employees that let's it's 25k and there are suppose uh, uh, 15k so these are the maximum salary but now my condition is that but only for those department which have more than one employee so i will definitely not include this i will definitely not just include this because this department has only one employee so what is the query what is wrong in this example what am i doing is that select department id fine max salary fine from employee fine where count the star is greater than one group by department id from appearance it's looking very fine it's looking yes it's everything is correct but let me tell you my dear where is not used with with group by group function with group y group function with group function you can say with group function you will not use where with group since count is a group function you will not use where with so in order to have group function you use having fine so let me show, show you the example so uh, so, so here, here is the example select department id max salary from employee grouped by department id fine then after having instead of where you i'm using having count the star greater than one and then order by order by you know i'm ordering it order by department id that is fine very fine so order by means 20 15 there is an order of ascending order fine and i'm getting the maximum salary and these salaries are of all employees who whose are greater than one number of employees these department id are department id of those department having employee greater than one fine so let me read this 
in the same way you used where clause to restrict the rows when you selected you can use having clause to restrict group in order to restrict group because we are restricting a group why i am saying count star must be greater than one here count is a group because count is applied applied on not only on rows it, it is applied on a group of rows fine so if i am using a group of rows then i'll use having fine instead of where in query using group by having clause the rows are first grouped similarly the rows are first grouped so similarly the rows will first get grouped group function are applied and then only those group matching having clause are applied and after grouping having are used first of all we'll group it and then having will be used the where clause is used to restrict rows fine you can use where clause but not with group function the having clause is used to restrict the group written from the group by fine so what i am trying to tell you hope you understood so these all are theoretical concepts let me show you the actual practical implementation of all these things so let me use oracle 10g for you okay fine i'm having oracle 10g let me show you uh, 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 i'm having a table imp cell fine you can see imp cell now you can see there are three columns employee id department name and year of join fine uh, that employee id one is working in research department joined in 2010 two is in defense one is again in training three is in account four is in admin five is in sports six is in teaching seven is also in teaching eight is also eight employee id eight is also in teaching nine is in research and 10 is admin now my job is listen the question very carefully i want to find number of employees in every department i want number of employees that is how many employees are in research department how many are in defense how many are in teaching how many are in training so i use this query this query select okay select find count count is aggregate function i am counting what employee id i am counting what employee id fine i have to count the employee ids comma department name from which table im self table group by i need this group by on which department because according to department i want how many employees are working in that department so again i told you if you use anything other than this group function uh, any column other than this group then you need that particular in group by fine so if i run this query see see the beauty you are getting there are two employees in research one in defense and one in training one in account one in sport two in admin and three in teaching clear what a great answer but what you want in a ascending order I mean, what you will do if you want the same thing in ascending order you get after group by you write order by count eid descending order so if you write write this you get now in a descending fashion you are getting the same answer but in a descending order three in teaching two in admin two in research and one in sports and one in training one in defense and one in account but what if i want only those department now see i'm using having what if i want only those department having more than one employee i want only those department my job my question is tell me the number of employees in those department where number of employees in a department should be greater than one so what i do here see this what i do what i do is this is the query what i'm doing is select count eid d name from m self group by d name fine having count eid are you getting eid should be greater than one or then then you use order by descending fine so see now the answer see the beauty the answer you are getting is what the answer you are getting is teaching has three employees three are greater than one research has two employees obviously two is greater than one and admin is having two employees so hope i have tried my level best to explain you everything very clearly 